Serbia has endured a turbulent recent history, but from this war-torn country have emerged some star names in world tennis. Here's a country that, that, that wasn't even a country uh, 10 years ago. It's part of another country, and they've broken away, and that independent spirit, perhaps it's a look at us, we're a new country, we're great athletes, we deserve our place. At the time when I was a kid, and when I was breaking through into the tennis world, the country was falling apart. My family really didn't have money. I should have felt the pressure, but I actually didn't, because maybe I was, I don't know, crazy in the head, and I didn't really care about any of that stuff. And then later on, when I started getting self-conscious about myself, I started feeling that pressure, probably because at the time, I was the only decent or good tennis player in, in the country. Today, Serbia has a new tennis superstar. The success of Novak Djokovic has only increased the pressure on Janko. I am jealous of Novak. I hate him, but in a positive way, you know. Why is he better than me? Because at the end of the day, I come to my room and I say to myself, if he can do it, if he can be number three in the world, I can be number 10. And even if I don't become number 10, there is this positive thought in my head, which is making me be better. Breaking into the top 10 means being successful against the world's top players. That holds no fear for this 25-year-old. When you play against top guys, the most important thing is to stick with them until 4 all 5 all because they do choke. Djokovic, Nadal, Davidenko, everybody chokes. It's normal. It happens sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But a bigger chance to beat a top player is to start strong and stay strong with him until 4 or, or 5 all. because if they do make an early break, then it's almost unthinkable to, to fight back. Yet no matter what his results, Janko Tipsarevic's tennis philosophy will never change. The great thing about tennis is that if you lose on Wednesday, you have another guy waiting for you across on the net on next Monday, because the next week is starting. And the bad thing is if you win a tournament, you don't have too much time to enjoy it, because maybe not next Monday, but the other one, you're playing against a new guy, and if you lose, everybody's going to call you a loser. So the, the most important thing is to enjoy this from hotel to a hotel life as long as it lasts. And the beauty of it is that all of us are doing the thing which we love the most. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the Spaniard with the film star looks and a heart of gold. Guapa. Fernando Vadasco, as you've never seen him before. And we'll turn back time to catch up with one of the grass court greats, Stefan Edberg. See you then.